My name is Richard Vobes, and I'm the Bald Explorer. I'm a great fan of walking and drinking beer, so I've come to Sussex to combine them both. One of the most notable features of Sussex is the South Downs. Comprised of flint and chalk, the South Downs have been inhabited since ancient times and are peppered with hill forts and earthworks and other more modern anomalies. This is the Long Man of Wilmington, a hill figure on the side of Windover Hill. It's also the inspiration for a brewery of the same name. So naturally, I wanted to find out more. The brewery was started by myself, um, a gentleman called Duncan Ellis, who's the local farmer. He's been uh, farming here with his family for four generations. I think that they were looking for ways of diversifying the business. Um, around the same sort of time, another local uh, chap called Steve Lees, um, who owns a regional wholesaling company, had the same idea. I think they got wind of each other and thought, well, hang on a sec, why don't we do this together? At which point they needed a brewer, and that's where I got the call and came down to help start Longman with them. We're a mixed farm, so we've got, we used to have a dairy herd here. Um, we've got beef cows now and sheep, arable. Um, and, but the dairy cows sadly went about 10 years ago. So my granddad moved here in 1943. Uh, he moved from 10 miles up the road, uh, milked the cows there in the morning, and then walked them here, milked them here in the afternoon. Um, so we've been we've been here we've been here since the, the dairy farm was the nuts and bolts of the business, and sadly, with the present climate, um, they, they had to they had to go, which is a great shame. Being adjoined with the farm, we actually grow our own malting barley, um, so it's produced uh, you know only a couple of hundred yards away, um, which is from a brewer's uh, sort of point of view fantastic because I have that extra level of control. I can go up and inspect the next crop. It's something which a very, very small amount of brewers are doing. It's a spring barley, so we've obviously planted in the spring, and it works well on the chalk downs. Um, we grow a lot of root crops over winter to feed the lambs on, and then, and then it gives us a good entry for, for spring barley, which kind of fits, fits our system nicely. Not only is our barley locally sourced, but we also have our own borehole for water. We generate our own electricity through uh, solar panels. Uh, all of our waste product goes back to the farm again, whether it's spent grain for the livestock or wastewater for irrigation of the crops. So we're, we're very proud of how um, green and sustainable uh, our business is. There used to be a brewery here about 500 years ago, and so we were keen to keep it here. Um, obviously the, the, the walls are incredibly old and very sensitive and we had to be very very sensitive towards that and I think we've done that fairly well. In the sort of three and a half years we've been going we've managed to pick up uh, about nine awards now. Uh, just recently this month uh, we achieved a silver at the International Beer Challenge which is a uh, internationally recognised uh, competition. I think they had entries from over 630 different breweries. It's really nice to have that recognition because you know certainly myself and the rest of the team work incredibly hard to produce the beers we do so to have that recognition means a great deal to us.